And now I feel like I'm not being quite aggressive enough with the allies. They kind of parked down here the last turn, uh, the 26th during the day. They probably should have moved up here and tried to push these Germans out. Looking at it, they now have 10 points. <coughs> uh, they were being, they're protecting this bridge, but the Germans aren't actually allowed to cross the bridge. Um, which... So, like I was saying, um, these guys were protecting the bridge because this says here, if the game does not end with the Germans crossing the Meuse, uh, then add up all the victory points. <clears throat> So maybe it's in here. Yeah. But over here, on the Meuse bridges, German units may not cross the bridges over the Meuse River. Uh, so they can't do that, and they... It's not allowed, but it's listed as a possible victory condition. Um, oh, I see. Okay. So what it is, if the German player reaches the end of the victory track a second time, equaling 20 points, uh, they're assumed to cross the bridge. Okay, that's what it is. That makes sense. I did know that. Um, so it's not really about protecting the bridges, it's about protecting the river. Um, so probably should have done a better job of spreading out and protecting that river line. There's two turns left. Um, five activations each. Um, yeah, and the, the Germans are at 10 now, plus another five up here, and the Allies are at three. Uh, so this is probably gonna be, well, not probably, it's gonna be a German victory, but I think there are, yeah, they'll get one there, and I don't think this is, nope. Um, maybe one here, one there, I don't think it's going to be quite enough, one there. So we'll play it out. On the last turn, the allied player just drew the allied air, it is a day turn. Uh, the Germans had already taken one action, so they're done, the Germans are done. However, um... Not sure what they're gonna, what the allies are gonna be able to do through here. Just pulled fourth cav, which is down here. Um, they can't really do much. They can probably get here with a light attack, uh, but they're a strength of four against. So they're gonna be at one to two. What's well, not great odds? Um, we'll see if they can push them away, but it looks like it might be an auto victory. They're going to get, if nothing changes, they're going to get five victory points. These guys are all in supply. Out to here. So, unless one of these can get pushed out, they'll be at 10. And even if not, if they're at 19, they still have quite a few up here. Uh, they gained control of the town out here. They have this town and this town. So the Germans are sitting pretty. We are all wrapped up. And the Germans got to 16 victory. I think this is actually 26 victory. Uh, no. Yeah, 26 victory points. Not counting dead units. Um, which they obviously have the superiority there. So let's talk a little bit about the game. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Plays pretty fast. I think probably sitting down it would be about two hours. Um, I did make some, I think, mostly minor, maybe a couple major mistakes. But in general, I think I got most of the feel right. Uh, I actually remembered infiltration, rolling for that. Tried to avoid it in general. Um, great components especially for the size of a game that this is. It uh, just comes in a, a zip block bag, uh, beautiful artwork, 
great functional counters, good rules, they're well laid out, um, not really any errors grammatically or otherwise that I came across. Just great kind of traditional style war game. Um, can be played in an evening pretty quickly. Plays great solitaire. Um, I'll definitely be coming back to it and trying to figure out what to do as the allies to, to stop that onrush. Uh, I felt like I was pretty slow with the Germans coming across, but once they get set, uh, they're pretty tough to get out of where they are. Um, very, very interesting game. Uh, check it out, Revolution Games. Roger Miller um, did, a, did an excellent job. There's another game using a similar system as this called Gazala. Uh, which is uh, Gazala the Cauldron, which is North Africa, World War II. Uh, or two World War II games in a row for me. Very, I don't think that's happened before. That's Cells. Cells. I always want to say Cells. That's Cells. Thanks for watching.